Taliban seize capital of Afghanistan's 10th province, now Ain Kabul. Taliban have captured the strategically important city of Ghazni in Afghanistan. Ghazni became the 10th provincial capital to be captured by insurgents in less than a week. Afghan security forces detained the governor of Ghazni and the deputy governor after they fled the important city. Ghazni is on the main Kabul Kandahar Highway, linking the militant stronghold in the south with the Afghan capital, Kabul. Controlling Ghazni is considered to increase the possibility that the Taliban can eventually regain control of Kabul. It is clear that Kabul became the Taliban's biggest target after the group was ousted from the government by U.S. coalition forces 20 years ago. Nearly a third of Afghanistan's 34 provincial capitals are now under Taliban control. The rebels have moved swiftly, capturing new territory on an almost daily basis, as U.S. and other foreign forces withdrew after 20 years of military operations. In Ghazni, a member of the provincial council told the BBC the Taliban had taken control of most of the city, with only one police base on the outskirts controlled by Afghan security forces. Heavy fighting was also reported in the city of Kandahar on Wednesday. The Taliban claimed to have taken over the city's prisons, although this has not been confirmed. In the southern city of Lashkargah, the capital of Helmand province, the Taliban have taken over the police headquarters. Meanwhile, the U.S. embassy in Kabul said it had heard reports of the Taliban executing surrendered Afghan troops, saying it was deeply disturbing and could constitute a war crime. More than 1,000 civilians have been killed in Afghanistan in the past month, according to the United Nations. Just this week thousands of people from the northern provinces became internally displaced. They traveled to Kabul in search of safety. Makeshift camps have been set up in the bush on the outskirts of the capital, while many other refugees are reported to be sleeping on the streets or in abandoned warehouses. We don't have money to buy bread or buy medicine for my son, said a 35-year-old street vendor who fled Kunduz province after the Taliban burned his house.